Do you love food? Do you love Mexico? Then this is for you. Today we're showing you where to eat in Puerto Vallarta's foodie hub, Colonia Versailles. Bienvenidos amigos and welcome back to another episode of More Live Diaries and today we're coming at you live from the MLD studio to tell you all about five restaurant recommendations in the foodie hub of PV, also known as Versailles. I don't know if Versailles is officially known as the foodie hub of PV, but we're calling it that. It is our kind of go-to place to check out new restaurants. There's tons of restaurants, tons of cafes, very affordable, very cute. And honestly, we have not had a bad meal. If you're going for breakfast, brunch, or dinner, there are excellent restaurants, as Kathleen said, at affordable prices. And a little while back, we asked you guys for your restaurant recommendations. So we decided to check out five of them. They were all a hit. Maybe four and we threw in one of our own. And <laughs> there is an extra bonus place we won't say maybe a dessert who knows but stay tuned for that let's get right into the first restaurant that we checked out So we checked out Chacocina for breakfast. Um, we've heard lots of great things about this place. So we had to check it out. Um, everything, like first of all, okay, the food was delicious, very flavorful. I had the croque madame. And I had the mole chilequiles. And they were absolutely phenomenal. The best chilequiles that I've had in Mexico thus oh, far that's impressive and of course being breakfast we had to order coffee with our breakfast and they are i guess very enthusiastic about coffee we ordered something called the v60 and they were like it's going to take 20 minutes for like <laughs> sounds intense <laughs> sounds intense better be worth the wait yeah. and honestly it, it was really good and i will also just add everything in cha it like down to the plating is very aesthetic and beautiful like the decor um, Aesthetic plating, wise, yeah. it is right up our alley. A lot of greenery, the plating. Um, like minimalist. Yeah. Mexican. Everything from the coffee cups to 
the beautiful clothing shop in, in the, the back. back. Definitely recommend a uh, chop for breakfast. Anyways, it is open later for brunch, lunch. They have natural mm -hmm. wines, which we'd like to go back and try. Only two salsas, but they were both very good. And then the sauces on our food roll. Amazing. Amazing. So, yeah. So, cha, uh, 100% recommend. been in Versailles for a few years now. They recently just relocated to where the Itecate was. Um, so a bigger location, more outdoor seating. Um, we had been meaning to check out this one for mm -hmm. a while and we finally made it in. Guys, let me interrupt. Okay. Eight salsas. Oh, Eight boy. salsas. <laughs> that, that could go south or could go really well depending on how good the salsas were. They were all top notch all the way to homemade Baja salsas <laughs> um you know me i was like i was like a chemist in there trying to find the best combination of salsas in every bite eight salsas they were all amazing i'd recommend this place just based off yeah. of just the bring salsas. a spoon and eat your salsas yeah, basically which is what we did what mark did <laughs> and yeah it was really good i had the birria flautas they were good great sauce excellent mm -hmm. but mark i think i would probably order more so what mark got he just got a bunch of different tacos i got the shrimp taco i got arachera i got chicharron and i got the barbacao of course and they were all amazing really flavorful some of the best tacos that i've had thus far living in mexico the meat quality was meat up quality. there the salsas again the combination of salsas and every bite was absolutely amazing i would probably get two barbacoa tacos next time just because i need i need five tacos Yes. I need to complete. And standout star of the show goes to that arrachera because normally mm -hmm. I find that a little bit dry. Usually this one was cooked to perfection. It was so good. Guys, barbacao and Versailles, it is one of our top recommendations for tacos. Mm -hmm.
next restaurant we went to was Algo Bueno. We had a little fried chicken craving and they bred their chicken in-house. Everything is made in-house, the salsas as well. I got the buffalo fried chicken sandwich, which was really good. Like the quality of the meat, the breading is excellent. The salsas are all made in house. I'm um, going back. I probably would get the original, which is what Kathleen got just because uh, I came to realize I'm just not that big of a fan of <laughs> the, the buffalo sauce, but it was really, really good. And the fries were excellent as well. How yeah. was your sandwich? I loved my sandwich. It was delicious how fresh these chicken sandwiches mm -hmm. are. I can't tell you, but we do have footage of chickens literally crossing the street next to Algo Bueno. And they're just know. chilling there in the morning. So <laughs> many times we don't yeah. see them in the afternoon. I don't know what happens to them. Um, the kids, I think, had chicken fingers. Yeah. And they, those were also really good. Again, the fries were good. So many sauces to choose from. If you have a fried chicken craving and you're in PV, Algo Bueno. Prices are excellent. Salsas are excellent. Take our word for it. Head to Algo Bueno. one of the recommendations but it was a newer restaurant in Versailles so we decided to check it out it's called Vagabundas um, so it's really close to the kids school so we've been passing by it for a few weeks and decided to check it out for dinner um, so Vagabundas is Mexican cuisine but also Asian cuisine they have a lot of Asian plates mm -hmm. um, which I'm always a bit hesitant about because it's very hard to get Asian ingredients here but we ordered one Asian dish which was the udon noodles and they were delicious mm -hmm. um, we actually ordered them for the kids but they had a bit of a kick so I don't think um, the kids liked it too much because it's a bit spicy but they're very delicious very flavorful a good portion I ordered one of each taco. The Hawaiian inspired uh, tuna taco was absolutely amazing. And all four of them, I had I think four in total, mm -hmm. were all really, really good. Um, another one was a ground beef taco. I had a birria taco. I had a carnitas taco as well. So there's all four of them. And they were honestly all really good. I'm always a little bit hesitant to order tacos in these types of places. But sit down restaurants. At sit down restaurants specifically. But they were all um, just excellent. They came with one salsa of your choosing. I chose the spicy one, of course. And I'm, I was always a little bit hesitant with salsas, um, especially when they don't come in abundance. But the one that he brought me was excellent five out of five stars okay i ordered the burrito and it was the dried dry I, rub dry carnitas. dry rub carnitas burrito i'm gonna say it hands down best burrito i've had in in mexico in so far world. in the world possibly <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious i'm like i would go back just for that it was so good 
Um, I think overall, our recommendation is to go to Vagabundas. Um, they do have a happy hour there. Like, mm -hmm. I can't remember the price, but cheaper beers from like five to nine or something. Or yeah. Five to six. And our recommendations, try one of each taco at least and try the burrito, which was absolutely And delicious. if you try one of the Asian dishes, they have bibimbap and some other things, like let us know in the comments how they are. Probably our main recommendations yeah. for dinner in PV in general. We got a lot of recommendations for Abulon. We'd actually already been there a few times and we love it mm -hmm. um, for many reasons. It's a seafood spot. Um, so if you like seafood, definitely check Abulon out. Um, they do have other options uh, as well as a really nice children's menu as well as a trampoline for your kids to play on while you yeah. eat so you can enjoy your dinner. And um, just the food has been amazing every single time we've gone. Every dish we've tried there has been very flavorful. On this specific night, I got the aguachiles, which was mixed shrimp and pulpo. And just really good, really fresh. Uh, all of the flavors were there. Um, I really, really love the aguachiles there. And I got the chimichanga, which it has um, shrimp and pork, I believe. And honestly, amazing. Whatever it's wrapped in, whatever you yeah. call that wrap heaven. is heaven. A blanket of heaven. <laughs> it's like a crispy tortilla Great. that they like Ish. deep fry. Um, the chimichanga is something we've ordered every single time we've gone. One so of us that gets is it. our recommendation. One uh, of us gets it and we're supposed to share. Uh, but, you know, the sharing sometimes happens. Um, and then our kids have gotten, the kids meals are really good. You can just get a plain mac and cheese. You can add shrimp to that, which is good. And the kids portions on the kids menu are also very big. So whatever you order, um, like just get one of you. If you have a couple kids, you can definitely share as well. We usually get the guacamole because Cali loves guacamole. And um, yeah, just very good portions in mm -hmm. general at Abulon. Again, this is one of our favorite restaurants here in PV. So wherever you're staying, I would take the Uber or taxi drive to Abulon and just have a meal there. The prices are very reasonable for the quality of food that you're getting.
getting dessert at, which was really, really good, is called La Fiore, which is right beside Algo Bueno. It's an Italian restaurant. So we ended up going there for gelato and it was just amazing again like everything on this list um if you can eat there we can't vouch for the food but we the did. ice cream was really really good we did sneak peeks of people's plates and it looked really good mm -hmm. i saw some really nice looking salads um as well as pizza and it looks great actually bassy has eaten there before on some sort of school party and yeah. he he says the pizza is good. He I raves know about he it. Bassy. Yeah. <laughs> Bassy gives it five stars. We don't know yet. We'll <laughs> probably eat there eventually, but the gelato there was amazing. And that's it, guys. Five restaurant recommendations for you in the Versailles neighborhood. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button because we're going to be doing a lot more of these kind of like restaurant tours. One of our next restaurant tours will be a taco tour specifically um, in the Cinco de Diciembre area. So we're going to put a lot more content like this for you guys together. Comment down below where you've had the best food in PV so that we can go check it out and see if it makes it to uh, the more live diaries episodes. Who knows? Who knows? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is our journey. More live diaries. Peace.